Hello everyone and welcome to Art at Chaparral. I know this is not how we all expected the year to start, but I really like to think of this as an opportunity to really be innovative and challenge ourselves to be creative thinkers. So I think it's going to be a great year, so let's go ahead and get started. So this class is known as the elective wheel, and that means you're going to be taking three classes this year. The classes are 12 weeks long. You will obviously be starting here in, in art, and then you'll be rotating to Spanish for 12 weeks, and then your final 12 weeks will round up the end of the year with video with Mr. York. So you'll notice that the uh, classes don't align with the regular quarter and semester for the year. So, well, actually, each quarter is typically nine weeks, so we'll actually go a little bit three weeks into the following quarter. And so what will happen then is the real final grades are actually at the semester. Quarter grades are typically considered a progress report kind of grade. So your final semester grade will be average between two-thirds of your grade will be from art, and then one-third of the grade will be from Spanish. And then the same thing will be true the second semester when one-third of the grade is from Spanish and two-thirds of the grade are from video. So this is a very special year since we are doing this distance learning model. So how are we going to do art at home over a computer? So the, the key to what I have planned this semester is that everything is materials independent. Art is not just drawing and painting. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be having theme-based projects and idea-based projects where students are more exploring ideas than about specific shading or painting techniques. So uh, we're going to be exploring lots of different areas of art, including abstract ideas and so forth. But the idea is that you can use anything that you have at your disposal to create art. And we're going to start that by um, introducing some digital art tools so that, that everyone could use. And you could use these tools for every project this semester, or you could just use them for the specific digital art projects. But these tools are all free and cross-platform. So starting with Autodesk Sketchbook and Graphic Designer and Sketch.io. Graphic Designer and Sketch.io, I really like. Graphic Designer is kind of an illustrator type of program, but they actually, both of those work in the browser. But they all work, work cross-platform, whether you're on an Apple device, Mac PC, um, Android, they work on all of those platforms. Now, my favorite one, and I recommend these first primarily because they're free and, and cross-platform. Um, my favorite art program, if you have an iPad and you really want to spend a small amount of money, I think it's 5 or $10, but uh, Procreate is my favorite drawing app for any kind of digital work. It's a professional program, and it's got a lot of tools and flexibility. Um, but beyond using digital art as your kind of main go-to tool, um, there are also other ways that you can create art. Obviously, if you want to use pencil and paper and draw, you're welcome to do that. But I really want to encourage students to really expand their minds of what art is and what art can be. And there's lots of different ways of making art other than grabbing a paint set or grabbing some, some pencils and some paper. Here we have a student who did a watercolor painting out of coffee. This is all made from coffee. You can do collage, cut things out, stick them on paper, uh, lay them out. Or even if you dig in your recycle drawer or junk drawer or or even pull stuff out of the trash. You can put stuff together to create some really interesting art and do something that's really, truly original. And those are the kinds of things I'd really like kids to kind of explore this semester. One of the things that kids are gonna be doing is um, they're gonna be doing some drawing practice. So either pencil or paper or really any kind of marking instrument that they wanna use. You can use string on, on the ground to draw really if you wanted to but you're also welcome to use our digital tools that we'll be starting the year with. Practicing drawing is really the best way to learn how to draw, just by drawing more and more. So I'm gonna be asking that uh, one of the things that's gonna be ongoing is that students are gonna be drawing two drawings every week. Really almost every, anything they wanna draw, I just want them to enjoy the love and practice of drawing. We're gonna check it every week. Of those two drawings, I really would like one of them to be an observational drawing from a real object or a real thing. The other drawing can really be anything they want to draw. If they want to look at a picture and draw it, if they want to draw a picture of a real thing, draw from their imagination, draw abstract, they just want to create art in their sketchbook, do a collage, do a digital painting. Anything that you really want to do to create art can be what the other drawing practice is. 
Just one of them should be trying to draw uh, a real object or a real thing or a real person. Each drawing should at least be 15 minutes. That's really the only requirement. I'm only really going to look at time spent working. And if it looks like they spent that amount of time, then uh, they'll be fine. What the students should avoid is drawing and erasing and drawing and erasing and drawing and erasing. Because if, if you draw for 10 minutes and you erase it all, and then you draw for another five minutes, that's really just a five minute drawing. So uh, make sure that each piece shows really uh, 15 minutes of full drawing. So what do you need for this class? The minimum tools of what you need are either some kind of computer or laptop or a drawing tablet. You really need some kind of device where you can do two things at once. You can zoom and you can be on Google Classroom or in a drawing app or something else at the same time. So I can be talking to students while they're working on something. And that's really pretty essential. And for art, you really kind of need a larger screen. So what does that mean? No phones. We really don't want to be using our phones as our primary means of accessing school. If your phone is your only way of accessing school, then you really need to contact the technology department at uh, WVUSD and get them to give you a device. You could use a phone as part of what you do. Um, maybe you want to use your phone to uh, Zoom while you use a tablet or computer to draw or access Google Classroom. And that would be fine as a secondary device, but as a primary device, you really should be using something more robust. In conclusion, I just want to say that I really think that this class is going to be challenging and fun, and I'm really looking forward to this year. And that's really my key goal is to try to make drawing and art fun for your kids and really learn to enjoy the process of creating. I hope we have a really great year and uh, can't wait to get to know all of you.